Hi, hello and welcome in our video. This video will be about the deleting. And maybe you are wondering, deleting? Isn't it just hitting delete button? Do you really need separate video for deleting? And the answer is yes and also no. There are some things you need to consider before you delete some artifact. It's not hard and it's not overwhelming and we will cover it in this short video. Let's get started, let's delete some artifacts. I am in stakeholder requirements specification module that I pre-prepared with some artifacts and some information that will be necessary for our explanation. I also drag and drop base artifacts to the training project file so they are easy to find and easy to work with. First thing you need to recognize when you are deleting artifact is that there is different process when you are deleting base artifact and different process when you are deleting module artifact. You can delete module artifact without any problem. It really is just simple clicking on delete or simple hitting delete button. So I can, for example, go to this artifact, click here and click on remove artifact, or I can just really hit delete. And you see, now I need to confirm removal. When I click on remove right now, this module artifact will be deleted but its base artifact equivalent will still be in the database or, or not just in the database but also in the folder so i can delete this artifact but here in the folder the, this base artifact will stay let's delete this artifact remove all right i didn't click that checkbox that base artifact should be also deleted and right now this artifact it's not longer here but if i refresh the its base artifact equivalent is still here. But by clicking on it, you see where used, there is no module where this artifact is used. If I now jump back and I would like to delete this diagram, so I can click here, click on delete, and again on delete, you see it's not possible. Why? It is because you are not able to delete base artifact that is used in any module. So if this artifact is used at least once, you are not able to delete it. So by clicking on this diagram and seeing here where used, this diagram is used in a module, so it is not possible to delete it. It is, however, possible to delete it from a module. So you will have no problem to delete this artifact from a module. And right now, if I will hit remove, this artifact again, as in previous example, this artifact will be removed from module, but if I will also click this checkbox, and now if I click on remove and delete, this artifact will be deleted from both the module and also the folder. So I will click on remove and delete. Excellent, I will go here and refresh. And you see, we also deleted base artifact. So this artifact is now really gone. There is no diagram here anymore. And remember, this artifact I deleted from the module. So again, right now, this base artifact is not used anywhere. So theoretically, we are able to delete this base artifact. Delete artifact, delete, excellent. So you are able to delete artifact from the module and you don't have to also delete this artifact from the folder. So the base artifact equivalent will still live in the folder structure. Then option number two, you can delete artifact from the module and you can also at the same time delete its base artifact equivalent. If this artifact is not also used in any other module. So if this is the only module where this artifact lives, then you can delete both at the same time, module version and also base version. And you can delete base artifact from the folders if this base artifact is not used in any module. If this artifact is used at least in a one module, you are not able to delete that base artifact from the folder structure. There is one more important information about this. Although we removed both versions of the artifact, so base artifact as well as module artifact, and users can no longer use those artifacts and they cannot be found, actually, they are still in the database. Why? Because you probably have some old change sets 
or you probably have some baselines where those artifacts are, and they are needed there for reference, for audit purposing, for history purposing. So those artifacts, although deleted, still lives in the database, but they cannot be used by a user. So that's just more interesting information that deleted artifacts are not 100% gone. They still live in the database. Continuing with our next example, I will try to again do the same thing. I will try to delete this module artifact as well as its base artifact counterpart. So I will click on delete. I will check if the artifact is not in other modules permanently deleted, remove and delete. Excellent, it's gone and it looks like it went exactly as planned. There is no notification, no error, nor nothing. I will go here to the folder, click refresh, and it's still here. Why? Because if I will click on this artifact, you see it's still used in a system's requirement specification. So I deleted this artifact from stakeholder requirement specification, but this artifact was reused. You probably also saw this reused icon. So because this artifact was reused also in another module, uh, we were not able to delete it both from module and as a base artifact version, although there were no notifications, no errors, nothing. All right, next example, and this is probably the most important one. I have this artifact here, and this artifact has some priority set. This artifact is linked somewhere. And this artifact also has some super duper important comment with life changing information. I will now delete just this module artifact and I will leave its base artifact counterpart in the folder. So I will click on delete. I will not check this field. So remove. And this artifact should be still here. Excellent. It is. Now. I may realize I made a mistake, or maybe it was not a mistake at the moment, but now we really need this artifact back. Can I do it? Yes, because I have its base artifact counterpart, so I can use this counterpart and import it back. And if you uh, saw reuse techniques, you have several ways how you can do it. You can just copy paste it, or you can hit create and add an existing artifact here. And here it is, add and close. Okay, it's in the wrong hierarchy. I can drag and drop it here. Excellent, so it's here. Perfect, so I was able to recover this artifact and bring it back. We are saved, right? Right? Well, not exactly, because although the content is the same and we still have our priority set to high, we don't have any information about links and we lack our super duper important comment with life changing information. So this is not 100% recovery. And it's very important to know that because when you are creating comments and when you are creating links, those links and comments and also tags are module specific. So they are important just in this module and they are not propagated to the base artifact. So here, in this base artifact version, you will have no idea about links and comments created in a module. So when you delete this module artifact, you also delete any information about those comments and links, and they are not able to be recovered. So please, please consider it every time you are deleting artifact. Information cannot be recovered 100%. And this brings us to the last example problems with deleting artifacts and fear from losing any valuable information made our customers to look for alternative ways how you can delete artifacts and at the same time not delete them. To do this, there is a simple workaround. You can create custom artifact attribute, for example, delete it, and it can be boolean, so just true and false. And then you create views where you will just simply hide all artifacts that have deleted set as true. Easy, right? Yet it's very effective. So let's do it together. I can go up here to the settings and manage component properties. And in artifact attributes, I can create new attributes and call it deleted. Excellent. And this artifact can have data type 
boolean. I can simply save it and I will need to assign it to some artifact types. In our case right now, it is enough to assign it to stakeholder requirement and to information. So stakeholder requirement, add attribute, delete it, OK, save. The same for information. So information, add attribute, delete it, OK, save. Excellent. So now I can jump back to our module. Great. I will add delete it here as a column. Excellent. And now, for example, I would like to very softly delete this artifact. So I will set it as true. And I will also would like to delete this artifact. Okay. And that's probably enough. And right now I will just create filter, delete it. And now I would like to see everything else but true, because if it's true, then it's deleted and I, and I don't want to see deleted artifacts. So I will click on true and does not exist. Add and close. And you see those artifacts are gone. So if I will remove this filter, artifacts are again here. So I can create views and in every view, and this is very important in every view, you also need to mention that those deleted artifacts should not be included in the view. So that was just a simple tip or trick. How can you work around about the fact that deleting artifacts is scary? All right, and last example, last information. Let's say I would like to delete this heading, nothing else, just that this specific artifact, this heading. I clicked on it. I will hit delete, but watch out. You see, if you will remove this heading, you will also remove two child artifacts. So two children will be removed with this heading. So in fact, you will be removing three artifacts. Unfortunately, you are not able to remove heading without removing its children. So if it's really necessary, I will hit cancel. And now I will drag and drop those artifacts here under 1.1. Now this heading don't have any children, so I can really delete just this heading. You see, remove, and everything is working perfectly. So watch out when you will click on heading and hit delete, or not just hitting delete, but choosing here remove artifact, the information or the warning is the same. So probably my best tip and trick, please read what Doors is trying to tell you. All right, and I think this is it for this video. You see, although deleting is really not that hard and it actually is just clicking on delete or just hitting delete button, there is a lot of information that you may want to consider before deleting artifact, or it's at least beneficial for you to know. So I really hope this video was informative for you and I look forward to see you in our next videos.